Hey everyone, this is a new 65mm 1S loop that I've been updating for racing in 2021 and it's pretty sweet so I want to show you this. It's a custom build running a Project Mockingbird tune and the latest Emu Flight software that has the dual axis steering. I'll tell you what that is in just a minute but first you got to see what this thing can do. Here is the build up close. It weighs about 18 and a half grams. That is a really good weight for a whoop, but it's certainly not my lightest. Actually, my lightest one is still this 15.3 gram build. I made a video about this. If you haven't seen it yet, you might want to check that out. I'll put a link to that down in the video description. All right, and like I said, I am running the latest version of Emu Flight, which has a feature called dual axis steering or DAS. And here's what that does. On my radio, I've got four axes. I've got thrust and yaw on the left and I've got pitch and roll on the right because I'm running mode two. And what dual axis steering lets you do is it lets you mix input from one of them, like roll, and mix it into yaw or take yaw and mix it into uh, your roll. And that's something you could do on the radio, but it's a lot better to do it in the flight controller. And here's why that matters. Uh, when you're flying acro, you use all four of those axes pretty much equally. If you want to turn, you've got to do a coordinated turn with both yaw and roll, and that's nothing new. But when you're in angle mode, uh, you need to do a lot of really fast yaw spins for that kind of racing, and so you're doing these big movements on the yaw stick a lot. But you've also got to do really sensitive throttle management. Meanwhile, what are you doing with this stick? You're just kind of pushing it forward because roll doesn't do very much in angle mode. But if you take the input from your roll stick and you let it do both roll and yaw at the same time, you can basically use just the left stick for throttle and just the right stick for left-right steering and for pitching forward. Now that takes some getting used to, but I really like it. Of course, you can adjust how much of a mix there is. You don't have to go all right stick or all left stick. You can play with that and find something that feels good to you. Uh, the CLI commands that matter are add yaw to roll and add roll to yaw. And those names are super confusing. What it means is add input from the yaw stick and turn it into roll or add input from the roll stick and turn it into yaw. So if you want to do that right stick steering, turn up the add roll to yaw. The tune that I'm flying on here was developed by Patrick Clark of Project Mockingbird. That's why I've got my Mockingbird t-shirt on here. He is working on an official Mockingbird tune for the dual axis steering, and that's not done yet. He's getting input from some other pilots and fine tuning that. So what I'm running is not an official Mockingbird tune, but if you want to see what it is, I'll put the details down in the video description. And of course, if you want the official Mockingbird tune when that comes out, then keep an eye on his website and on the Facebook group. There's links to those in the video description and a full parts list if you wanted to build one like this. This is the new Beta FPV 1S all-in-one flight controller. It's got the receiver and video transmitter built in, which makes for a really clean build. And this is the Meteor 65 frame, but the motors are Happy Model EX0802 19,000 kV. This is the updated one with the Unibel design that's supposed to help with durability, but otherwise these motors are exactly the same as the ones that I used in this 75 millimeter whoop. This one was 16.8 grams. I know a lot of you have seen this because that video got like 85,000 views or something. It's crazy. And so these are pretty much the same motors I'm using in here. Happy Model sent me those motors for testing and Beta FPV sent me the flight controller. So thank you guys for that. 
To reduce weight, I did remove the motor plugs and direct solder the motors on there. And I'm using a new type of motor screw. This is called Peak. It's made by the same company that makes the Rennie screws. Peak is a little bit lighter than Rennie. It's a little bit less stiff. So I'm not sure if that's gonna make it more or less likely to break, but I'm testing those out. I've got a nice short power lead on here as well. And this canopy is not the lightest option. It's about a gram. You can print these on Thingiverse, but it's made of TPU and it's completely indestructible. Plus when it lands upside down, it keeps the props way off the ground, which makes turtle mode really easy. And finally, the camera is the Tiny Whoop Pinch Camera. They normally sell it with a video transmitter, but I'm just using the camera part and it's working out pretty well. It's not quite as light as the Runcam Nano 3, but it's got a really wide field of view. The picture is pretty nice and it seems to be more durable. And that's really good. The durability of the camera and this canopy is part of what this build is about. This is for racing as fast and as hard as I can. This thing has already taken a bunch of hard crashes and it's got a whole lot more in its future. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching and Happy New Year to all of you. If you've got questions, let's talk down in the comment section below. And uh, otherwise, I will see you next time.